Welcome to the short introduction to the course, How to Make Aid Policy Smarter. My name is Achim Kemmerling. I'm working at the Willy Brandt School of Public Policy at the University of Erfurt. In particular, I'm the Gerhard Hanya Chair of Public Policy and International Development. And here on the slides, you see how you can reach me via Twitter, the Brandt School website, or my personal blog. Um, the main objectives of this course are threefold. First, I want to give a brief introduction into the purposes and modalities of aid giving in general and uh, official development assistance in particular. Then we focus on different types of donors, but also different types of aid to understand what works under what circumstances and when. And this we will, as the third goal, we will do mainly in the form of asking evaluation questions, but also uh, thinking about evaluation as a tool with its certain limits and, and capabilities. The course starts with an introduction to basic concepts such as uh, theories, approaches. So we will talk about very basic stuff such as what is actual development. Uh, that's our quite a thorny question. We will also look at major approaches to development aid and its effectiveness, efficiency, et cetera, et cetera. And then we will obviously think about how to analyze these different approaches and also to think about them in a critical way. Let me make one example. From my point of view, the aid debate is very much dominated by economists, let's say. Usually standard economists, some call them orthodox economists. And even among them, there is a huge and quite controversial discrepancy between opinions. For instance, on the one extreme, you find people like Jeffrey Sachs, who wrote this book, The End of Poverty, and who's very much an aid optimist, who says that you just need to pump way more money into poor countries and poor contexts in order to find uh, aid to matter and to be effective. But on the other hand, you find people like William Easterly, exemplified, for instance, in his book, The Illusion Quest for Growth, but also other books uh, and other writings of his, who's way more critical and who would say that most of this money is either given in vain or uh, occasionally even counterproductive. And so you get both types of opinions. On the one hand, a fairly technocratic view among economists, and on the other hand, a fairly cynical view. And in my personal view, both are too narrow. So we need to broaden the perspective first, not only looking at what works in the narrow definition, which is usually the focus of economic analysis and public policy studies of a orthodox type, let's say. We also need to think about who actually benefits from aid giving, who wants to give aid and for what purposes. So we also need to think a lot, little bit about concepts such as political legitimacy of aid. And then thirdly, we need to think a little bit about aid in a more principled, in a deeper way, and even understanding whether we ask the questions right. For that purpose, critical studies are uh, sometimes very helpful. So in other words, we are, we are trying to broaden the horizon of this question of how to make aid smarter by being more pragmatic about political problems, but also more encompassing uh, thinking about issues such as society and cultures. In the next part of the course, we will look at different types of donors, different types of aid uh, and aid giving and the problems involved in all these. So for instance, we can start with simple questions such as do actually donors make a difference? Does it make a difference if Sweden gives money or if Germany gives money? We look at different types of aid to see whether aid giving depends on the context, on the modalities of aid. Prominent questions are how conditional aid should be, for instance. And all these questions should lead obviously to the idea of how to improve aid giving and how to make it smarter rather than think about abolishing it or just pumping more money into countries. We start this section with a guest lecture from a representative of the German Ministry of Economic Co Cooperation, 
in German called the BMZ, the Bundesministerium für Wirtschaftliche Zusammenarbeit. And he will give us a standard government approach to aid effectiveness as an agenda. You have all heard of the important buzzwords, millennium or sustainable development goals, the Paris and Accra agendas on aid effectiveness, uh, etc., etc. But then we will also look at this from a more critical perspective because very often there is again the same controversy which we have seen in the among academic scholars, especially economists. We see this also when it comes to more practical discussions. Just very recently, the Nobel Peace Prize 2020 was given to the World Food Organization and probably for good reasons. But on the other hand, a lot of economists and academic scholars occasionally think that food aid might be the worst form of aid given in general. So that's a quite a stark contrast between, on the one hand, uh, lauding and applauding this form of aid, while at the other, uh, on the other side, or the other hand, uh, people are very critical about it. So we will take all this knowledge gained in the steps one and two to apply them actually to more practical matters of evaluation and extracting some sort of best practices in aid. But for that, once again, we need to think a little bit about how to evaluate in general, what are the methods, and also from a critical perspective, under which circumstances is evaluation actually a good idea? Because this is not always straightforward. And again, we need to adopt a slightly broader approach than the economistic one, narrowly focusing on things like effectiveness or efficiency, in order to do justice to what aid is supposed to do and what it can possibly achieve. And we will also get some help for this part of the course. We have invited a, a dear friend of ours and an institutional cooperation partner uh, coming from the German Institute of Evaluation, of Development Cooperation, DEBAL. Uh, in persona, we invite uh, Professor Jörg Faust, who is also a professor at the University of Cologne, but also the director of this institute. And he will give us a very practical hand-on introduction to what evaluation in the development field in German actually means. At the end of the course, you should be able to um, know, obviously, the nuts and bolts of official development assistance, but aid giving in more general. Being sensitive to different perspectives and different methods how to evaluate official development assistance. And ideally, you should also be able to do this from a practical perspective, for instance, writing short project proposals. And we can train this in a very hands-on manner by uh, making you submit project proposals for very small projects in the context of our so-called commitment award. If you are interested in this, you just follow the link commitmentaward.org. Every year, the Brand School in cooperation with the um, Engagement Preis Stiftung gives three projects with a very small nominal sum between 1,500 to 2,500 euros, to small interventions, could be in the global north, could be in the global south. And in part, this course should prepare you also for designing such project proposals, which may or may not be successful in the Commitment Award. If you have further questions about this course, the Commitment Award, please feel free to contact me. Um, I'm welcoming everyone uh, of the Brand School students to this course, but also uh, for outsiders who can't take this course and would still be interested in information about it, uh, feel free to contact me. Thank you very much for listening and uh, see you soon.